Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here in Chicago. Javier Mar, Rodrigo Montoya, the number one ranked doubles team in the IRT versus Conrado Moscoso and Alex Landa, who have reached three finals this year alone for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto along with Robbie Collins. This is the 2023 Pac but Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Robbie, welcome again to the booth. And, you know, give me your outlook on this one, Robbie. These are two of the best teams in the world, and we're gonna we're in for a treat today. You have Conrado Moscoso, who's the tied for first best player in the world. Just depends. It's just dependent on the week in 2023. You have Alex Landa, who has been battling through some injuries and challenges, and he's here and always a threat on the right. And they are playing the number one ranked team in the world right now. That is well earned. I got to tell you right now, Rodrigo Montoya and Javier Mar, of course, many, many years of playing racquetball together. Yes. Currently the Mexican national champions, Pan American Championship in Lima, Peru. That's in 2019. You know, they got momentum on their side. But right now, playing against Landa and Moscoso, not going to be an easy feat. I don't know about you, Robbie. For me, a key for this matchup is Alex Landa's health. He's yes. an X factor right here in this court. Out of these four gentlemen, he's the X factor. So on the right side today, you're going to see two very contrasting styles of racquetball. Javier Mar is one of the best right side players to ever play racquetball. As big as he is and as far forward as he plays, there have been very few in the game ever to play as well as he on the right. Alex Landa has a different style on the right, plays a little farther back, a lot more control. Bides his time and has a devastating forehead if you set it up. So that interaction, Mar constantly being in front of Londa, Londa resetting rallies with ceiling balls. It's going to be very interesting to see. There's two weeks to go in Minnesota. They won men's pro doubles. And Landa, most close, as I mentioned before, they've reached the finals three times. Yeah. together this season so you know you have momentum on both of their parts yeah. these are two of the best doubles teams in the world no doubt about it Ball down, Landa dishing out a little play right there just off Javier Mars' playbook. Yes. A little roll reversal. Oh, that ball bounced very, very weird. Bad bounce off the door. Oh, boy. Moscoso adjusted. What a great shot by Moscoso. And that's one of the keys to the that pairing of Land and Moscoso. Moscoso has to play perfect offense right now. Yeah, and the matchup on the left, him and Montoya are a very even matchup. I agree. I would be curious to know their head-to-head -head in singles as well. I, I believe it's pretty close, pretty even. If I'm not mistaken. But if you saw two weeks ago in Minnesota, there was no doubt about it that Montoya oh. was the better man. He dismantled Moscoso in the semifinals. Yeah. Completely dismantled him. Lana to the serve. By hope. Just a replay right there. Montoya's looking to see if they can appeal that call. He's talking to his partner. A little bit of an odd swing as well. I, I'm not, like he almost, he just kind of stopped. Double bounce call. A great shot from Mar. Ball doesn't lie, Robbie. Yeah. Great shot from Javier Mar. And it's early in game one here, but considering the last match that we just watched, you can feel the energy is very different in this match to start. 
lot more patience. A lot of lob serving right now. Wow. I just, I, I'm very fascinated by the confidence right now. We have, from our angle, a great point of view in that shot from Montoya and the level of confidence of him taking those shots. Yeah, the, game, it, it, the rallies haven't been sped up yet. Right on cue. This is like a front court hand foul. Wow. wow. Landa came up big on that one, closing it. And that's the difference with Landa. If you leave setups on his forehand, he will put them away. Wow. Just casually steps up and rolls it out from his ear. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a right shot from Javier Mar. He saw that Conrado was down up there and just went for the body shot. That's the smart play. Smart. Not that Moscoso is one to hold a grudge, but I gotta say it, you know, he's looking for revenge from two weeks ago. Yeah. Interesting shot selections there from Londa. It's a good reset, Moscoso. What a perfect shot great, from Moscoso. Uh, great down the line. And if you're Moscoso and Landa, you will live with giving Javier Mara set up in the back right. Because if you let him up front, he will feast. He, it's over. That I agree with. Montoya going for that middle. We've been seeing as recently in these past tournaments, Montoya in the doubles has been favoring that lob in the middle. Well, certainly situationally here, you don't want to be lobbing Moscoso's forehand too often. No. Well, certainly if you want to win. So, kind of like I said with Mar, it's if Conrado kills a forehand, you will live with that. It's because if you let him have setups on the backhand no. side, he will feast on the setups. Wow. Oh, how smooth Whoa. was that shot? That was smooth. Can I get a witness? Yes, I can. Look at this. Look at the smoothness of this shot from Moscoso. Look. Boom. Got caught. Not even Javier Mari anticipated that one. Oh. What is going on? Wow. No call from the ref. I, I can appreciate that though. They're just letting he's the Alan and Terra are ref just letting the players play through. I think both both teams still getting the feel. Unforced error there from Alex. But you know what I'm what I'm seeing these past a uh, few rallies is Moscoso is covering most of the court. He's covering front, he's covering back. Is he making up for Landa's injury? Not letting Landa, you know, push himself too much over the edge. Potentially. Potentially. It's Mar, coverage. It's another point right there. Moscosa did the right. She tried to do the body shot like he got from Mar earlier, but he was f too far from the front wall. All lobs so far. Oh. Three, 
Three serving four. Montoya wow. can't get it. I think that was a miscommunication yeah. right there between him and Javier. Also adjusting the tether in his racket. Great shot from Moscoso. Oh, excuse me, Montoya. <laughs> That's point for Montoya and Moscoso. <laughs> Montoya and Mar. Four serving four, very quickly do we get a quick tie right here. These two teams have a lot of respect for each other and it's showing on the court because I don't yeah, see the aggressiveness cool. factor still kicking out. They're still kind of measuring each yes. other, studying each other. But I assure you that will end very soon. Another unforced error by Alex Landa. That's, that's been plaguing him, but they're tied at four apiece. And that's the setup for Moscoso and Landa. Landa needs to put that one down. And Rodrigo Montoya had a lot of those unforced errors yesterday in his match versus Andre Parrilla. But that was in singles, though. This is doubles. Stare there from Conrado going for quite a bit, but uh, not enough coverage there from Moscoso. And you have to wonder, Robbie, you know, he's clearly making up some court coverage there over Landa. Yes, he's probably covering what 70% of the court himself. Yeah, and you know, but Londa's game style in doubles definitely, it, it lends itself to that. You know, he's more than happy to just hold his position. He sags back a little farther right, obviously, than Mar, And he will just cover the cross court. And when you cover the cross court, you're covering the ceiling ball right. That's Conrado kind of move around and operate for the rest of the court. There is an appeal for a double bounce. Call call overturned. Mm. Fantastic use of an appeal by Rodrigo Montoya. He didn't even consult it with Javi Amar. He, he knew what was going to happen. That calls that's called experience, Robbie. Great. Despite a couple of unforced errors, Robbie, right now it seems that Conrado Moscoso is right now the best player on this court. He's been playing really, really well. Yep. Moving well. Right reads. Good set up. Down the line winner, Alex Landa. And that's the setup that you cannot give Alex. He is.
extremely good at that setup. Six, serving six. So a half out called. Hashtag just a replay right there. That is another good use of an appeal now in the hands of Moscoso and Landa. Set up. Court coverage again. What a, what a get. And I got to tell you, Moscoso again, he's just right now playing like the best man in this court. But it leads me to wonder, will he overwork himself? This is just the beginning of game number one. He has single semis later in the day. Yeah, you know, we won't know the answer to that till his singles. Interesting serve. From the back. Switching sides. Montoya out of the right. Down the line winner. Right now, Alex is making up for those unforced errors he had earlier. Yeah. He's playing better ball. Yeah, and he's just playing his position, right? You see Conrado covering a majority of the court. Landa just biding his time on the right, and then when he gets his setup, he, he is ending the rally. Goes from Landa clearly on fire. Ten serving six. No. <laughs> Landa just dove a little too late. Yeah. But to me, Landa doesn't need to hit that. No. You know, that was just a little too aggressive because he he wasn't holding his position. He I agree. He was taking a little ambitious shot selection there for no real reason. And it cost him. cost him a half out. Moscoso to the serve. I lob Nick to Montoya's backhand. Mar. Oh. Oh, just Conrado just missed it. I thought he hesitated because Montoya was in front of him. I don't know. I'm not yeah. It maybe it surprised him. Oh, Montoya from the back, his backhand is deadly. It's another unforced error there in the hands of Conrado Moscoso. Skips there from Conrado. That four point advantage that Moscoso and Landa had is almost disappeared right now. It's amazing how quickly Mar Montoy can turn the tide. Point. 10 10. Yeah, just giving Mar too big a setup there. So timeout taken by Moscoso and Landa. They take the timeout. We'll take a one minute break and we'll be back on IRT Live.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. Remember, this is the Papa Nicholas Coffee Sham Rock Shootout. For those of you who haven't tried one of our most than 50 different blends of Papa Nicholas Coffee, we encourage you to do so. Our competitors are enjoying Papa Nicholas Coffee all weekend as the coffee bar in the glass court lounge is fully stocked from early in the morning until late at night. Jim and Papa Nicholas want everyone to ask for Papa Nicholas Coffee at their local grocers like Jewel or Osco. Or go online to order directly at PapaNicholas.com. Use code RACKETBALL50 to get 50% off your order at home, at work, wherever you are. Papa Nicholas Coffee, best coffee in the region. Back to the action. We resume play. Robbie, I got to ask you about this timeout. What are your thoughts? Oh, 10. Thirteen serving ten. That's another one. And look, it's a fascinating run. They were up 10-6. Eight point run so far for Montoya and Mar. Montoya. Double bounce called. That skip. No, don't blame him for it, but 15-10 is the end of game number one. Robbie, you know, a seven-point run. I'm, I'm sorry. It was a nine-point run for Montoya and Mark, just like that, turning the tide. Players will take a two-minute break, and we will too, and we'll be back on IRT Live. John Story joined the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to thank our host, the Glass Court Swimming Fitness Club. This has been one of the best clubs in the U.S., a very traditional club, because with eight courts, including International Glass Glasscourt Stadium, it has hosted professional events for over 35 years. So Glass Court Swimming Fitness, one of the best clubs in Chicago. Dreger Law, relying on a strong commercial background, Mr. Robert Dreger, focuses practice primarily in the areas of transactional and construction law, 
and dispute resolution. His clients range from professional service corporations to closely held businesses in a wide variety of industries. Please visit Dreger Law. I also want to thank today, Robbie. We had none other than Anthony's Pizza because Tony Cosmano and his son Anthony Cosmano have been competing in Illinois events for many years. With Tony having passed on his love of the sport to his namesake, he runs Anthony's Pizza and has been a sponsor for many Illinois regular events at the glass court over the past 20 years. So thank you for Anthony's Pizza. I don't know if you tried it, Robbie, but I had a couple slices, and it's really good. Yep. Especially the traditional cheese pizza. Yeah. Good cheese. Cheese pizza. And it's, uh, you know, we eat a lot of pizza on the road, going to different places, and this is by far my favorite pizza on tour. It, it's in the... It's in the pyramid of the four basic fruit groups in racquetball. It is. It is. Yep. Back to the action right here. Javier Mar and Rodrigo Montoya had a nine-point run to end that game one. Robbie, what's Whoa. your what are your thoughts in that nine-point run? Well, make it a ten-point run now. Ten-point run. Yeah. Well, it it was just a matter of really Mar and Montoya just getting the momentum, and it's as simple as that is to say, executing their game plan. Mar getting setups, getting his. Oh my! God. <laughs> is that amazing? Is that the gutsiest shot you've seen today? I mean, we just watched Andre Perea beat up the right corner, and Mar just may have hit the best shot of the day right there. I I, I don't agree. That be, between the legs, jumping to the back shot of Andre killing in the right corner. That's right. I think that's that right. tops it. Yep. Oh, let's go. So giving him the no look. Trying to respond. Zero seven two. goodness oh my goodness half out right there mar is putting on a master class on the right well right now the people are loving it here i gotta tell you robbie it's a pretty good crowd for a saturday yeah it's always a good time here in chicago You know, too much heat there. Landa just couldn't get to it. He couldn't put a racket on it. Smart's ability to kill it in front of Landa there. Landa was right up there with him. It's amazing. Mar and, Monta Mar and Montoya are firing on all cylinders right now. Three serving one. Oh. Wanda hit that pass just a little higher, a little softer, it caught Mar off guard. Big setup. Yeah, to give Conrado that big a setup, he's going to put it away. More often than not. Great shot by Alanda. Mar ran up there to cover and <laughs> Two, seven, three. some words between Londa and Mar. So stuff to pass you. Two serving three. Landa. It's a good lob serve. 
Oh, nice. Forcing a weak return. After that fantastic high lob serve and a weak return by Mar, that is the last thing I thought yeah, would happen. Big unforced error. I'm surprised Conrado didn't call him off that. Those are the unforced errors that we're talking about. And I mentioned how Lando right now is the X factor in this court. Just a replay. Montoya was right back there. We're just a few feet away, Rowie. We would have had a fantastic view of that body shot. Yeah, we would. See, and that was the difference there. There was another ball up the middle. Conrado called Landa off, took two swings. Wins the rally. Now Montoya is to the right, Javier to the left. They're not switching. How easily did Javier Mart make that shot look? His forehand right now three is three. outstanding. Three serving three. Very nonchalant. Javier Mar looking to the serve. Wow. Spinning shot. I told you, Jedi's. Amazing. I don't know what was more amazing, that spinning shot that he went when he turned around or that shot how he ended. Let's look at this replay again. From the back, and he kills it to the front. Yep. Look at his court coverage. Yep, Mar moving forward, reading. He can just feel that shot. Yep. Rodrigo Montoya, without mistake. It's hand off though. Blast it right there. Morado got just got in the face of Montoya. But again, the court coverage from Javier Mar, even though he wasn't involved in that last play, back to front, great court coverage. Oh, happens when you're about six foot three. Yeah. Montoya with another mistake right there. He has to shake it off. Four serving four. This is a little bit similar about game number one. We were tied at four apiece as well. Yep. Started a little bit slow. Then boom, nine points at the end by Mara Montoya. Let's see if the story here is any different. Wow, what a great shot there by Conrado Moscoso. He had such a difficult time getting off the bag. Well, he even he went on one knee to take that shot. Yeah, I mean, that ball was just hanging back there at about 39 feet. Great shot. A reset to in front by Landa. Moscoso got that one. Oh, tricky. Ooh, what, again. what a dig right there. Oh. That's a skip again. Another, that's three errors in a row for Montoya. That, that ball was not in any way get or, you know, by, uh, by Moscoso. It was dug up. He, yeah. like, he, he, he grabbed a shovel. Yeah. So technical timeout there, equipment timeout by Montoya. Had to switch rackets, maybe broke a string. Just 
great down the line from Javier. Amar making quick work right there on the left as well. Right now, Javier is hot. Montoya, not so much. Some unforced errors on his behalf. Oh, big setup. Wow, a little too much heat there. Great wide angle pass by Moscoso. Also want to thank our sponsors, Cheryl Kirk and Kid Lawson, Country Financial, Bruce Nelson, John O'Donnell Jr., and Skin Deep Day Spot, Linda and George Pappas. Double bounce called. Also want to thank our racquetball sponsors for supporting our silent auction and junior clinic, Headpen Racket Sports, Gearbox, and Pro Kennex. Great, Great get, good. Mar. That's a skip. And that's what a good defense does, Robbie. It forces a terrible offense from the other team. Six serving four. Six serving four. And you know what? The score doesn't really tell the story of this game number two. You'd no. figure it'd be the other way around. Yeah, you know, certainly with some of the shots that Mar was making in the beginning of game two. You know, you would have thought that the lead would have been bigger. It would be ahead. That's a credit to Muscovy. Yeah. Hashtag just a replay. Also want to thank Response Graphics and Embroidery, Lynn and Kevin Yazel, Fellows Rooping, Willie Fellows, Taco Burrito King, Danny Ortega, probably the best tacos in Chicago, Little Debbie, Janet and Joe Eminger, Dovetail by Design, Mike Kinkin, Alec Meta, John Thorson, Davern's Tavern Lounge, Mike Davern, Ray Meisner, Mike Zipke. Shot called. Moscoso not happy about it, but I don't see an appeal going on. Also want to thank Jose Arteaga, Liz Mulder, and DuPage Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thank you, everyone, for your continued support. The 2023 Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Hashtag just a replay. Just a replay. We're still at 476. I want to remind everybody that we will be back in California. IOT is going to Los Angeles. The SoCal Open Racquetball Championships. Robbie, I guess we'll see each other there. Yes. That's close to your neck of the woods. Yep. <laughs> that one's just a four hour flight. On the run, Moscoso. Good get from Londa. Set up. Oh, what hand. Amazing hands here. That's the right play by Landa. You have to take Mar out of center court. Voidable shot. Half out right there. I don't think Montoya liked that one, but he got a yeah. one. 
couple minutes prior, so. Great call. It's called karma, Robbie. Montoya to the serve, drives her nonetheless to Moscoso. It's a good, good adjustment. They've been stuck here at 4 6 for a while. And it's going up. Whoa. Wow, what a fantastic play. Even Moscoso just shoving Montoya, like, what is that? Can we get a replay? Can I get a witness? Yes, we can. Yeah. Let's take a look at this gigantic diving kill by Montoya. Moscoso was playing, and there you have it. Montoya just killed it on the right. Again, instinct. I, I got to say it again. The Jedis of racket sports are racquetball players. I like it. Six serving four. Set up. It's a point by Moscoso. It's interesting how the veteran here is Landa, but he's, you know, I've seen him play all year with, with Moscoso. One of the reasons why they've reached three finals is that Landa lets Moscoso take the lead. Yep. There's no ego in that team. Hashtag just to replay. You know what? That was a good pass, though. Unfortunately, it was a good pass. The court position wasn't right. Yeah. You know, maybe any other team, a few other teams maybe, but for Javier Mar, he can get that ball. Another lob. Oh, interesting. Interesting shot selections that rally. Yeah. A couple three wall boasts. Seven, seven, four. And then just a kind of a volley kill to end the rally. It's another point right there. And that's where the ball needs to go if you go cross court. You need to hit it directly into Mar off the side wall. And there's going to be times where he still gets it, but that gives you your best chance to get it by him. Great shot from Montoya. to cup that ball just down the line like that. It's it's impressive. Oh, that's going to work out. Oh, very weak return right there from Alex Landa, unfortunately. Six serving eight. Six serving eight. So Landa is basically allowing right now Mar Montoya to start a run. There you have it. Yep. It's a great shot from Montoya. So we want to remind everybody the winner of this match will take on Adam Mania and Andre Parilla tomorrow at noon. Coming up at 6 p.m. Central Time. Eduardo Portillo versus Jake Brandenbeck. And after that, Conrado Moscoso versus Rodrigo Montoya.
Yeah, I think that's the right call. Seven, seven, eight. Ball kicking into Moscoso. It just it wasn't a shot that he wanted to take. Drive serve from Montoya. Point. Point. Perfect jam. We, we don't see enough drive serves in doubles sometimes. And I'm, I'm, eight, when seven, I see eight. Montoya setting up for a drive serve, I enjoy it very much. Yeah, you know. Montoya is one of the, one of the guys in, in, on the tour who has that ability to strike extremely good drive serves, Moscoso included in that. And oftentimes you see in doubles they will just play for the position. They will they will use lob serves to just play chess. The tide has turned. Nine serving eight now. Montoya and Mar are finally back on top. It's much like the first game here. Montoya not going to get a freebie right there. Side out called. Yeah, that's just a bang bang rally. I, it it is. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, I, I can't blame the referee on that one. No. But you got to play through it. It wasn't a setup, it was just straight into him. That, that's all he really had. That's a good lob serve. Interesting. Point. Wait. So an avoidable call is made in the favor of Mar Montoya. The referee's just clarifying the point. He called an avoidable. He's getting a clarification. Let's see if it stands and if he's going to appeal or not based on the answer. Do you think it was a late call, Robbie? Yeah, well, I think there was first confusion because he said point avoidable half out <laughs> so there that is an appeal me. There, there's an appeal one oh. up and one down appeal lost almost go so and land are only down by one might change here. Interesting. Whoa! Okay. I think this it, Mar is challenging Andre's shot of the day. Uh, Let's take a look at this one again. I have no words. Look at the reaction of Mar. Spin around. Oh Boom. Done. Shot of the day for sure, right? We should do a vote. We should. Is Andre's kill shot in the right corner? Or Mars kill shot in the right corner? What a game. What a fantastic play. And another oh. one again. No, doesn't make it. Ow. We got to praise Mar and Montoya for defensive skills on the right. I want to remind everybody, this is the Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Remember to go to papanicholas.com, put code RACKETBALL50, and get 50% off any order you make. Order coffee at home, order coffee at work, order coffee, or give the gift of coffee to anyone you want. PapaNicholasCoffee.com, RACKETBALL50 as your promotional code. You know, Robbie, after those, those fantasy plays that we just <laughs> saw, you know, Andre had his. They won the match. Right now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see that rally again. I I got to show that to the people again. Look at Javier Mar. First, look at his court position. Look at where he is. Almost encroached. Spin around. Kill shot. Boom. Give us some love in the chat box about Javier Mar's kill shot. Montoya to the serve. Good jam.
Mark. You, know, you gotta wonder him, you know, Mark going to the left and just very, very smoothly hitting that shot. You know, what's in store? As you mentioned it before, Robbie, and I got and I gotta agree with you 100 percent One of the best right-sided players to ever, ever play the game. That'd be great to get in the chat who people think also some of the best on the right. I can tell you the second name that comes to mind, and maybe is the first, is Alvaro. No, he is the first. Right. I can it tell is. you right there. You know? I mean, of course, years of experience, you know, yeah. you know, again, but still, he does have some accolades that have evaded Javier Mar. Yep. One of the things come in mind, IRF that's world champion, nice. that's one of the things that's missing, doubles world champion, that's missing there right there from Javier Mar in the doubles game. And uh, Central American and Caribbean champions as well. But, you know, Pan Ams, Pan American Cup, national championship in Mexico, that's on the favorite yep. as well. Double bounce right there. Montoya hitting a great down the line shot. 9 9. Conrado's positioning is very interesting. So not only is he playing more centered, he is, his toes are on the short line. And so he is, I mean, he is all in on the front court coverage. I expect right now that Conrado cover a little bit more and swing a little harder because yep. it's 9-9. Nine nine. Nine We're in the stretch right here. It's a race to six. Server number one is Alex Landa. Set up, Mar. Oh, wow! <laughs> the smoothness of that play. You got to see that again. Let's take a look at this replay. Look at Mar's court position again. He's trying to deceive into the front. Conrado gets to it, and Mar very smoothly kills it. Fantastic play right there. Second server now is Conrado Moscoso. That skill today of being able to just volley kill his forehand down the line. Javier Mar, amazing. Of course, want to thank Mr. Eduardo Castaneda for sending us 200 stars here. Coffee. And coffee for the broadcasting thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Castaneda. Thank we you. love our thank Papa you. Nicholas coffee here at the booth for sure. Slima Worgen, I want to thank him too for sending us some stars here. Appreciate this fantastic rap role Mr. Worgen makes possible in the IRT. Slimo, hope to see you soon. Come to LA. Oh, he's got to come to California. Come on. Wow, whoa, wow. Kill shot. Moscoso not hesitating at all. And that's what he needs to do. Fire. All cylinders. Foot in the gas. Let's go. Montoya again with the drive serve. Double Man. bounce. Great jam. How good was that serve, Robbie? Yeah, they've been back and forth they the entire them. match here in the first game. Mar Montoya won on that huge run. Let's see if this drive serve is going to get them on another run here in game two. Good setup. Oh. Hashtag just a replay. I hit the front camera for those watching at home. Pablo loves when that happens. Oh. <laughs> I think statistically speaking, he's measured out where their ball get hits at a certain height, and he puts the camera right in there. Right there. Right in that spot. I would agree. Oh. Yeah. An avoidable shot. That's the right call. An avoidable shot. I think that is the right call. Ooh. Say that. One up, one down. 
Call stands. It's a loss of an appeal for Montoya and Ma. I don't. Ha I don't know if they have an appeal left. That is a good question. Oh, Alan and Tara just pointed out to Montoya they have one appeal left. This doubles match is so good. It caught the attention of racquetball legend Sudzi Munchik, who sent us some stars. Suds. Thank you, Sudzi, for sending us some stars here. Nine serving ten. Hope to see you in L.A. Well, I hope to see Sudzi in L.A. too. I love seeing him play doubles. On his knees again, wow. Javier Mar. Wow, kill shot down the line. And I mean, for the viewers at home, go go try that one. That's one, you know, Javier has hit some spectacular shots. He's had some overhead pinch rollouts, behind the back, backhands. But that shot, for the average viewer, is doable. It is. It's like, take notes there. You know, I'm taking notes. I, I just... It's been uncanny today. And sliding on his knees and just, you know, and, and the fact that he didn't went full full force. Yeah. He just measured out because that's one of the, the keys to Javier's Mars success. He knows the right speed, the right pace, the right height. It's not necessary to always use force. Right. 10 serving 9. 10 serving 9. Croachman line signaling. This is interesting. Diving kill shot now. <laughs> We're doing it all. Well, I, I think uh, Javier Mar is just basically pulling out every trick in the book. It's, I mean, th it has been some phenomenal racquetball here from Javier today. Just a replay, just a replay called. And it's a right call by the referee. Ooh. Went for it again, just missed it there. That's just a replay. Also want to wish Veronica, which she'll have a happy, very, very happy birthday tomorrow. We'll remind her of her birthday tomorrow when we're in the broadcast of the finals. Vero. Of course, Veronica, the wife of Sudsi Munching. Veronica, one of the, you know, I have missed playing her from, missing seeing her playing from Ecuador. Oh, and I know it. I remember back, a few years back, she was a total threat in the LPRT. Absolutely. I was very fortunate a decade ago to get to train with her in Stockton a little bit when I first got to move there, and uh, those were good times. It was... Uh, with the Yoda of racquetball, yeah. Mr. Dave Ellis. Oh, good old Dave. 12 serving 9. 12 serving 9. Timeout taken by Landa and Moscoso as they take a timeout. We will, too. We'll be back after a minute on IRT Live. Welcome back, everybody. Remember, the IRT will be back in Los Angeles. The SoCal Open Racquetball Championship, April 20 to the 23rd. Robbie, I'm sure we'll see you there. I'll be there. Hopefully, we'll get to see the guy 
Well, I love going to the West Coast because that's my time zone. I'm always here going down to Central Time and, and you know, East Coast. And, you know, the jet lag always gets me. Yeah. Rodrigo Montoya to the serve, 12 serving nine. Goes for the drive again to Moscoso. Javier Mar. But I love that serve from Rodrigo Montoya, though. It looked like it was going to Moscoso, but he placed it well enough to go to like a wrapper on to Landa. 9 12. Another unforced error there by. Rodrigo, but this was on their defense, so that costed them a point. That's a good lob serve. Wow. How cool was that? Very well measured, very well timed shot from Conrado Moscoso. <laughs> Land asking from from some love from the crowd. No, you need an adult supervision. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a skip shot, side out. He has an appeal, he can use it. I don't see him using it. Mar, very, very rarely does he miss those shots in the right corner. 12-11. And again, another drive serve. Let's see if it goes back to the wraparound to Lana or directly blasted to Moscoso. Here's your answer. Great defense right there in doubles. Set up for Montoya. Skip from Landa. I gotta tell you, we got some really good defensive doubles play right there in that rally. It looked fascinating right there. Highlight reel. Thirteen serving eleven. Two points away from victory is Mar and Montoya. Just to check right there. Good reaction right there by Landa. What a fantastic play right there by Rodrigo Montoya to achieve their first match point. For the match. Oh. Can't get to it too far away. Morano Moscoso missed that get. 15-10, 15-11 are the numbers for Mar Montoya. This has been a great pro double semifinal for Super Saturday. Let's take a look at this last replay. 
Ali from Mar to end the match. He's been, he was phenomenal the entire match. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media. Remember, at 6 p.m. Central Time, the men's pro singles will begin here at the Glass Court Swim and Fitness. Eduardo Portillo versus Jake Brandenburg. And immediately after that, Conrado Moscoso versus Rodrigo Montoya. For the broadcasting crew here, I'm Fabio Soto along with Robbie Collins and a producer, Rodrigo Mendoza. We'll see you at 6 on IRT Live.